get pretty dirty working out here at the cabin and figuring out how to get our laundry clean has been a bit of a learning curve. When we first bought the cabin, we didn't spend that much time here. So it was easy to just take any laundry we generated home and wash it and bring it back with us. But as we spent more and more time here, that was not a good solution. It was a pain in the ass. So then I decided that when we went into town for supplies, I'd just take it to the laundromat. Uh, get our, do our shopping, bring back bags of wet laundry and hang it up. That wasn't a good solution either. Uh, so we started looking at other options. The first one was a little device called the Wonder Wash that uh, helped out for a while. Just put your clothes in, add soap and warm water, and start cranking. I'd say you could do four t-shirts and a couple of pairs of socks or underwear without a problem. But no jeans, no sheets, no towels. That's frustrating. So on our trips to the laundromat, we took side trips to the box stores where we found a regular washing machine. Should work, right? Well, it didn't. Our new washer ended up at the county dump. Turns out a big washer required more electricity than our off-grid system could generate. So we tried a portable generator to get more power. That worked, except the generator didn't deliver something called a pure sine wave. Expensive lesson learned. Avoid the dump, size your appliances to fit your generation capacity. Anyway, we ended up back at the laundromat, again, using Wonder Wash for the small stuff. But even our socks and underwear still needed a couple of rinse cycles to get the soap out, and I still had to use the wringer to get the water out. Too much work. So we kept looking and finally found this three cubic foot washer. It's designed for apartment living. More about that in a minute, but I wanna share another lesson about spring water and the need for a water filter. This is our filter after doing one load This is a new filter. This is what would be getting in your laundry if you didn't have a filter in. Okay, back to our washer. We keep ours on the porch. We hook the filter up to an outside faucet, then connect the hose from the washing machine, and cold water works fine for all our wash. There's a handy drain on the back that we pull out in the winter to keep things from freezing. We also wrap it in a moving blanket for additional protection. We like this washer for two reasons. One, it only draws six amps, half the amperage of a regular machine. That means we can run it easily with our solar panels and our micro hydro unit, which incidentally deliver a pure sine wave. Two, it can handle the big stuff like towels and sheets along with jeans and sweaters. I use biodegradable detergent. Loads take about 45 minutes, including spin dry, so no more wringer. And when the wash is done, I just take it outside and hang it up. Unless it's raining, then we go to plan B. But that's for another episode. <laughs>